What's Windows like when you've been using Linux for a long time? Here's Windows 11. It's, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what to make of it, really. It's kind of... It's all right. It's a lot better than Windows 10, as far as I can see. I can find my way around it better. Um, everything looks better. Look at the menus here. So, you know, all that stuff. Hmm. Let's get something up. Open something up. There are still things about Windows that I don't like. One is that you've got no control over stuff. Like that bottom bar. You're stuck with it. You can't get rid of it, as far as I can see. Maybe you can. If you can, let me know in the comments. That top bar is, create, is just annoying. It's a waste of space. I can customize all of that in Linux, no problem. Another thing I can do in Linux that I can't do in Windows, I can decide exactly where all of my audio gets routed from one thing to another. No problem at all. I just grab little patch cords and move it from that program to that program, and that's the job done. Windows, I've no idea. Then you've got all this ASIO driver stuff. No idea what that's about. I guess it's the equivalent of Jack in Linux. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I have a suspicion that it sounds better than Windows 10, but that might be just my imagination. I don't know why an operating system would sound different. Um, maybe they've improved the audio somehow, I don't know. There are helpful little things that happen in Windows that don't happen in Linux. Like when you plug in a new device, it often just asks you, do you want to install the driver for this device? And you say, yeah, yes, please. And sure, that's grand. But, you know, I, don't, I really don't mind searching for the device driver in Linux. Some drivers don't work though, some you can't get, such as this one, this complete, complete control M32. And um, I, I hate that it's not in Linux. Likewise, all of the native instruments, complete stuff isn't there. So, and there's a lot of nice instruments in that. But on the other side of it, a lot of those don't really work on a high res, uh, on a 4K monitor, they're not very good. Now this might be a waveform issue, but that's definitely not in the place where it's supposed to be. And if you try and drag something and, gra and move it, it doesn't work. But if I go up about where it should be on the screen, oh, the mouse is up there. And check the knob above it, or the knob way down there. And, I, and the mouse reappears somewhere totally different. <laughs> so, um, these kind of little weird glitches aren't just something that you only get in Linux. Um, uh, let's see. So that's one of their relatively new ones. What about if we get a something else? It's not bad. So you can't resize it. What's that about? That's nuts. I don't want to be able to resize that thing. It's fine, I mean, it's kind of cool looking. It's cool that you can do that. But that's as big as it gets. My thoughts on Windows 11 as a Linux user is that it's fine. You know, it's it's grand. It's not really any better than Linux. In fact, I, I'd prefer to stay on Linux for most of my audio stuff, except for the few things that aren't available on Linux. There you go. Linux is better.